Hey guys, so today I wanted to make a video about how to make a high kappa 5.1 pistol fit into a holster, namely a Safari Land 6004 holster that is made for a 1911. This is my WE high kappa 5.1. It's a great gun, it's the first pistol I've ever bought, but one of the things I overlooked when I bought it was that I thought that it had the same body structure as a 1911. They do look very similar to the 1911, but as you can see, the top rails here, and specifically the width of the bottom rails here, inhibit this gun from fitting into regular 1911 holsters that are hard-bodied. I have a couple 1911 Molly holsters that this fits into, but I was looking for something more sturdy, like a Safari Land or a Blackhawk holster. After doing quite a bit of research about possible holsters that would be compatible with this gun, I found out that the Blackhawk Serpa holster and the Safari Land 6004 holster can easily be modded to fit a high cap of 5.1. This holster, like I said, is made for a 1911, but with a few quick and easy modifications, you can put your 5.1 in it and it's just as sturdy as a 1911 would be. So the few things you'll need are a heavy duty nail file. This one's about an eighth of an inch thick and it doesn't wobble at all. A nail file you would buy at a drugstore is probably not gonna do because this is pretty hard plastic. Two, you're going to want a allen key that will undo this hex nut on your holster. Lastly, you'll want needle nose pliers that you'll be able to grip the inside of this pin with while you undo the hex nut. So the first thing you're going to do is undo this hex nut on your holster. It's connected to a pin on the underside of the holster that will allow you, once you have slit this end of the holster, it'll allow the holster to open up this way. So what you need for that is your needle nose pliers to grip the inside of the pin and like I said your allen key to undo this so feels like I've got it I'm just gonna undo this there we go and the bottom pin falls right out there it is Alright guys, so that was the easy part. What you're going to do next is take your heavy duty nail file and file down a strip in the back of your holster. So the high cap of 5.1 is a little bit wider on the lower rail system than the M1911. And this is why you have to slit open the back of your holster. What you're going to do is you're going to file it all the way down until you get through and then follow through all the way to the end. What this is going to do is allow the holster to open up a little bit to accept your 5.1. Once you've done that, you're going to sand down the rough edges a little bit, and it'll be good to go. One thing to look out for, though, is that it's still a little tight-fitting in this holster. Um, so what you're going to want to do is make sure just the hammer's back, which if you're in a gaming situation and you've been firing your pistol, it's going to be anyway. So just make sure it's on safe, which again, it should be anyway. And being on safe is going to lock the slide from going back. That's going to allow you to slip it into your holster. It's a good click in there, and it's not coming out even with the bail undone. It's really sturdy and it fits just fine. Not too hard to get out either. So for anyone looking for a hard bodied holster for their 5.1, just know that the Safari Land 6004 for the 1911 can easily be modified to fit your 5.1. 5, 5 it's a great holster, really sturdy, and it's obviously a simple modification. You don't even need to buy anything else and it fits right in there. Thanks for watching guys, I hope this helped and let me know in the comments below if you have any more questions.